It's been a wild god. Says a lot to you. I thought about what I was lacking with my Pokemon. And we came up with an answer. Good! Now we'll show you! Hey guys, it's me, X Mr. Cheese X here. And welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. And last time we unexpectedly came across Silver. Here at Mount Moon, and now, we're going to battle him. Gonna start off with the Sneasel that he stole from that boy in Sidewood. Being an Ice type Pokemon, it's probably good if I threw him out here. Here's someone with his Rock... Well, not a Rock type, but a Fighting type move. Luckily, he's not using Ice type moves, and I could easily recover with that. Uh, Leftovers. And hopefully they'll take this down and win it. Being 10 levels over and critical hit. Probably needed it. Now he's sending out the Corallagator. Now, since it's the last time we get to fight Silver, let's make it epic. Start up, Mom. Against Starter Pokemon! Now, I think it's best if we lower his accuracy. Now has to be on the safe side. Water Gun is not gonna be good, being a type disadvantage and... Wow! Being 10 levels over power it is... I guess it's pretty good. That's using flame wheel. Does just about the same amount of damage. I can only hope that I get a critical hit with this flame wheel. Otherwise, that paralligator may very well knock me out. Okay, at least I got him into the yellow before he got me into the yellow. Pretty close. Oh, burned him! And you missed! And wow, it's kind of like the Lucid in Pokemon Red, how I defeated it. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it. If you wanna see how I defeated the champion, go ahead and watch part... Yeah, uh, whether it was 49 or 51 of my Pokemon Raid LP. Oh, it's got a level up! Wow! I'm gonna switch to Gomad, in which case I'm gonna switch to Sudabone, because Sudabone will easily take it down once I rock throw. Nice, fully healed with that leftovers. Let's go ahead and take it out with that rock slide. Boom! Take it out in one hit. Take it out in one hit. Okay, use a magneton. Still gonna stick with the rock type moves. Even though that a fire type move like a flame wheel or amber will also take it out due to being part um steel. Or it has turned out not to be effective. I shouldn't have Expo Helmet with a I guess I'll finish it off with an Ember. I'm confident in my abilities. Okay, I could okay it. Probably it wasn't needed. 
And I grew a level! I haven't grown any level in this in a long time. I'm gonna set out a Gengar. Which I think is a new flea mod of this. Might as well take it out with a flame wheel regardless. Poison and ghost type, it doesn't even look like it would be a poison type, but it is. And another burn! Am I just lucky? Okay, can't use normal type moves, I'll just use an ember and I'm surprised. I would think that you would at least carry items with you, like a full heal, but... Guess I was wrong. Final big mod, Alakazam. Finish it off with a flame wheel. I think it's actually has weaker physical defense than... Special defense. Ah, uh, took it out in one hand. I was hoping that I could finish it off with Expo, but oh well. I'll send out Abo. You know what? I'll I have plenty of revives. Okay. I can use that. Oh, instead of using items, use recover. And you know what? Full restore! You heal, so I get to heal too! It's only fair! Why did I make myself sound like a dork? And uh, let's cut it! Cut you like a knife! Oh, I wanted to finish it off with his expo. Oh well, they did it him anyways. Well, that was somewhat epic. Man, I should... I shouldn't use the word epic. Because epic is just like... To overuse of a move. Move. Word. I thought I raised my Pokemon to be the best they could be, but it still wasn't enough. Almost nine! Almost. <clears throat> it's over nine thousand beat! I deserve to be. I just wasn't able to speak, and I'm glad because that was a. Way overused meme! It was overused before it was overused. You won. Fair and square. I admit it, but this isn't the end. I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer ever. You guys, these guys are behind me. Listen, Gold. One of these days, I'm going to prove how good I am by beating you. Good luck, pal! I'm gonna go ahead and heal up my Pokemon. Okay, I'm back and I just want to say, just looking off the bat, you can probably tell that this cave has changed drastically from red and blue. You would, And I'm thinking to myself, can, can the mountain really change that much over a course of two years? I mean, I could understand, maybe in... 2,000 years. Yeah, we already take a few earthquakes, but... It's changed drastically. Now, you can go straight south to Ray Shirley City, or... You can climb this ladder. Interesting music. I never heard this music before. Nor I ever heard about this area, but... According to a guide, apparently this is a storm, but... I demand service! Apparently nobody's here.
anything up there, no. Maybe a few hidden items, but I'm not gonna check. I guess it's open on certain days. I don't know. Let's step down that ladder and this is where you would have ended up if you'd gone south. And here we are on Route 4. Just go up these stairs. Okay. Come on, maybe I'll search for a few. Nah. Now, I don't believe there's any required trainers on Route 4. Let's go around here. Uh. And apparently you can reach Rulian Cave. Um. Apparently that trainer is required. Required to go up to the cave, so I'll just cut her out. Just want to say, even though that I don't like it stat-wise, I still think that for it is adorable. And also, it's supposedly six feet tall. And aside from that fur, she also has a rabbit that's Okay, for it may only be like maybe three feet tall and uh, three feet of his tail. But still, that is very tall for something that was based off of a ferret. And the cave is apparently missing. Eh, disappointment. But the... No, never mind. Once you jump down here, you can't ever go back up. Never mind. But by now, you should have a flying Pokemon and... What do you know? We're already back at Trillian City. Well, why did I choose to go back to Trillian City instead of head south of Pewter to Berean City? Well, that's because I forgot to find a gym leader here. I just thought I fight Brock first, that's all. You can't fight Misty here be like immediately after you fix the power plant. But I just figured might as well fight Brock first anyways. But that's it for this part. Next time on uh, Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, Crystal, we're actually gonna go ahead and find out where Misty is because apparently Misty is not at her gym. Don't believe me? Here, I'll show you. Nobody is at the gym. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, we have heard that Missy was somewhere up north towards Route 25, 4 and 25. So, I guess we'll head next time by north to Route 24 and 25 and hopefully we'll find out where Missy is and figure out why she isn't doing her gym duties. Slacking work, are ya? Alright, I'll see you guys then.